Now, 50,000 of those COVID deaths have come from here in Florida, just about 50,000. The good news is the number of patients receiving treatment for COVID in our state has been dropping over the last few weeks. We hit our peak of 16,900 people just about a couple of weeks ago, August 25th. That was that many people getting treated for this virus in hospitals across the state. Now, there's nearly 7,000 less than that, so it's been going down. And today, Governor Ron DeSantis touted the monoclonal antibody sites that he set up statewide for the reason that we're seeing this drop. We've seen really, really significant reductions in hospital admissions, in the hospital census, in visits to the emergency department for COVID-like illness. There's been 24 consecutive days where the census statewide for COVID-positive patients has declined. Right now, there are 25 sites available for monoclonal treatment in Florida, including several right here in the Bay Area. The treatment is given by IV or shot to people early in their battle with COVID-19. It's used to give the immune system a boost to help lower the risk of severe complications from this virus. But is it the reason we're seeing the fourth wave actually drop off? 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo took the governor's claims to two experts for a sharper insight. With cases and hospitalizations dropping, doctors are finally starting to see a way out of the pandemic. And the models are saying that we have passed the peak. Dr. Edwin Michael, a mathematical modeler with USF Public Health, says cases have been on the decline for over a month now. If you look at Florida, we are saying we are almost at 80% of people are immune because of vaccines, but more because of naturally acquired immunity from infection. While doctors say immunity from the virus has helped lower COVID numbers, Governor DeSantis credits monoclonal antibody treatments. It's going down uh, significantly, and we think having uh, the availability of the early treatment uh, has made uh, a big difference. The treatment is effective, preventing at least 70% of hospitalizations in those who test positive, but it isn't the sole reason for the decline. To Governor DeSantis's point, of course, monoclonal antibodies helped, um, but that's only one tool. Dr. Kami Kim with USF Health started the monoclonal antibody program at TGH over a year ago. It's helped, but didn't stop the fourth surge of patients they saw. It's treating the patient. It probably has some impact on spread, but not as big as some of the other things. She's talking about masking, social distancing, and vaccines. We can't declare victory. We, we tried doing that in June, and that turned out to be a mistake. We have to realize that a threat still exists. Now, President Biden is also pushing for another boost in protection. His administration hopes to make booster shots available to all Americans as soon as September 20th which would be next week, but the FDA and CDC have to sign off on it first. That process gets started tomorrow. An FDA advisory panel will debate whether there is enough proof that a third dose of the Pfizer vaccine is safe and effective. If approved by the FDA, it then heads to the CDC for debate and approval. 